What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to drive my 2006 Lamborghini Gallardo. If you guys are new here, I just picked this thing up about two weeks ago and I'm loving every moment of it. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys around the car, a couple things you might need to know in case uh, you buy one, you're thinking about buying one, or you get an opportunity to drive one of these cars. Um, so make sure you guys stay tuned. We're gonna take a look at the outside of this car, the interior, and take it out for a spin. Enjoy the video. All right, so we're gonna start off with a couple things you might need to know on the outside of the car. We'll start off with the key. Um, it's a pretty basic key. There's only a lock and unlock button as well as a switchblade style key right there. Um, so that's the key, again, pretty standard. Um, but let me show you a couple things, that, again, you need to know on the outside of the car. So uh, how to pop the frunk. There is a button right here on the inside. So open the driver door. And there's a little lever right here that you just pull. Pops the uh, frunk area right here. Now, again, you can use this for storage or whatever you want to put in here. But keep in mind, it is not too big. Uh, just left of the Lambo emblem right here is a little lever you pull on that and uh, it shows the frunk space again not too big might fit a small duffel bag again nothing too huge but let's go ahead and close that down now I'll show you guys how to open the back deck lid in case you need to check on the engine or check the oil level or whatever you have to do back there uh, that is tucked in behind the driver's seat so you can there's a lever right behind the driver's seat you pull on that Pull over the driver's seat and then uh, there's a lever right here. Pull on that. It pops the uh, back deck lid right here. And on here there is no latch to really mess with. You just kind of lift it up like that. And uh, you can see the heart of the beast right there. The uh, powerful V10. The oil uh, you check right there. You add it and uh, do whatever you need to do right there. Pretty much all you need to know on the outside of the car here's another look at this thing i actually just picked this up about two weeks ago it's a 2006 lamborghini gallardo and yeah that's basically what you need to know on the outside let's jump on the inside i want to show you guys a couple things there as well it's a pretty low car getting in and out is a bit of a struggle but you do get used to it So the way to open the doors, there's a little lever right here. You just pull on that and push the door out. And uh, contrary to popular belief, not all Lambos have doors that go up. The Gallardo and the Huracans do not. Um, that is uh, reserved for the V12 platform. Uh, Murcielago, Aventador, um, things like that. So no scissor doors here. Uh, the doors lock and unlock with a button right here. Now, the way to put this car in reverse is kind of funky. I'll show you guys once we turn the car on. Um, but you see this R button right here. You actually press that to put the car in reverse. Uh, the steering wheel is pretty bare bones stock. There's nothing on there except the horn. If you were to press on that, it would honk the horn. And uh, yeah, here is a look at the interior. You do get one cup holder right there, which is uh, kind of nice. Kind of an awkward spot, but it's nice to have that. You also do, do get a little bit of storage behind the driver and passenger seats, which is kind of nice. If you were to put like a briefcase or a gym bag or whatever. Um, but let's talk about the infotainment center here. Um, you get three modes. You get uh, sport mode, which I'll talk about more here in a second. You get automatic mode, and then you get the traction control and a kind of track mode um, button right there. Um, right here is the front lift, which is super important when you're coming into like sharp driveways or things like that. You don't want the nose of the car to scrape. You simply press on that, the nose of the car lifts. Once you're through, you press on it again, the nose comes down. Um, right here is the lever to control the uh, mirrors, both the driver and passenger. Um, so you simply turn it to the right and then adjust it however you need to. Once you're done, you either keep it in the middle if you're done or if you wanna adjust the driver's side, switch it to the left side, tweak it, and then uh, you're done with that. Uh, down here is all your climate controls. A cool thing about this car is it's actually got seat warmers, which is kind of nice. So we'll, we'll definitely be using those here in the winter time. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, moving up a little bit, you've got your window for the driver. You've got your lights and you've got your hazard lights right there. You've got your electronic uh, stability uh, control right there. And this is how you actually open the gas tank. I'll show you guys what that looks like here in a second. And then the uh, passenger side window is right there. Uh, moving up a little bit more is the actual infotainment center and it's just a bunch of uh, CD and navigation things like that. This car does actually have a CD player. I don't know if you guys saw it in the front um, but there is another place to be able to put uh, CDs and actually two SD cards here. I'll show you guys once we turn the car on. 
Here's the uh, lever to control the uh, radio, turn it on and off, you press that. And if you can see the Lambo logo came on there. And yeah, that's basically the uh, infotainment center. You've got your air vents right here, you got another one there, uh, another one here. You also get a cool little uh, storage compartment right here to hide uh, what, your wallet or whatever you want in there. Um, so that's pretty easy. You got your lever right here, let me get you guys a better shot your lever right here for your turn signals your uh, high beams things like that and uh, you also have paddle shifters in this car and that is actually the preferred way to drive it so the left side is uh, downshift and the right side is upshift and I'll show you guys what that looks like here in a second right here you've got your uh, fuel gauge you've got your tachometer uh, speedometer tachometer and uh, engine coolant uh, level right there um, but yeah that's pretty much the interior of the car you've also got your lights right there for the cabin you got your little visor right here and a mirror right there which is pretty nice um, but that is pretty much the interior of the car now let me show you guys how to turn this car on because it's not uh, what you'd assume so let me show you guys here in a second so again this is a switch blade type of key it's a crank to start it's not a push to start like a lot of us are used to um, so what you do is flip the key open you put the key inside the ignition right there you turn it a little bit the system checks everything once you see that okay right there i like to let the e-gear finish priming you put your you put your foot on the brake and crank the key and it fires right up it's actually pretty loud in here once the car is going um, the actual exhaust from the outside is not too loud, but once you're inside the car, it is uh, <laughs> pretty loud in my opinion. Um, but let's get this thing out on the road. I want to show you guys uh, how to drive the car. All right, so let me put the windows up just because, uh, again, the exhaust is pretty loud. They are auto down, but you got to hold them to go up. Now, whenever you come to a uh, red light or a stop sign or anything like that, you want to put the car in neutral. So the way to do that is to pull both. Uh, paddles at the same time and you'll see that here in a second the car is in neutral right now um, Also when you park you got to make sure to pull the e-brake right there and that's how you park the car There is actually no uh, Park so it's you just leave it in uh, neutral and pull on the e-brake and turn the car off That's how you uh, park the car. You can get out lock it and it's totally safe and normal. That's what you're supposed to do um, But like I was saying earlier to prolong the life of the clutch uh, it's recommended to drive it in sport mode um, and that does require shifting with the paddles. Um, I actually prefer that because it is more engaging and more fun. Um, and I wanna show you guys what that's like right now. So let's get this puppy out on the road. So here we go. Again, the car starts off in neutral. You're gonna go foot on the brake, release the e-brake, make sure you're in sport mode and you can see it's in neutral, pop it into first and we are good to go. Slowly get on the accelerator. very jerky ride with that single clutch um, but I think that's part of what makes this car so special and so different I will be quiet so you guys can hear that beautiful v10 roaring here Downshifts in this car are absolutely brutal. This thing literally feels like a video game. <laughs> Check out these downshifts, ready? Beautiful. The visibility is pretty bad because of the uh, shape of the windshield. It's definitely like a wedge shape. So it makes it a little bit difficult to see out, especially when you pull up to lights and things like that. Um, but it, it is something you do get used to after a while.
right so for example right here we're gonna pop it into neutral and just wait for our turn as soon as we're ready to turn we're gonna pop it into gear give it some gas and we're off Again, it's not the fastest or quickest car in the world but the driving experience in my opinion is second to none I absolutely love driving this thing you feel like Batman it's super low to the ground it's wide it's rough and tough to drive absolute thrill now before I forget I do want to show you guys the gas cap on this car because it is kind of nutty so check this out the way to add gas to this thing again is part of the center console so you come right here and you hit this button right here pops the uh, little door for the gas can check this out though it's on the passenger side right here open it up and it's right there it's full metal now this piece alone just this cap is six hundred dollars so pro tip make sure you do not forget it when you go to a gas station you're pumping gas you know how you put it on top of the the gas pump thing make sure you don't forget that um, but there it is guys i hope you enjoyed that video of how to drive a 2006 lamborghini gallardo make sure you guys stay tuned for a lot more content thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up button make sure you guys subscribe and guys don't forget don't be average i'll see you guys in the next video